Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, we are staying at the, this hotel, which is called Hotel Zuri. And this is one of the, the most budget hotel options I could find for three of us for a room uh, with Micah with the baby. That's our room right up there on the top floor. And I'm just gonna give you a quick neighborhood tour. Let's walk around Zurich and let's see what's around this morning. It's about 7 a.m. So we're gonna go have coffee and I'm just gonna show you a, a neighborhood tour, typical neighborhood tour in Zurich. Let me just quickly tell you about the hotel that we're staying in. It's a business budget hotel for Zurich, uh, but it's still not cheap. Um, we paid, how much did we pay, Ying? Like for three adults, one baby. So it's still not cheap at all. But that was on a spur of a moment trip to, to Zurich. That was one of the cheapest hotels I could find. It's, the room is actually very nice, very clean, very new. Um, the location, the location is in a local neighborhood area, kind of, these are kind of like business, business blocks. And it's not too far away from the old town from the center of Zurich. It's a uh, quick, you can jump on the tram and you'll be in the center in the old town in about less than 10 minutes, so it's not far. If you're coming from a big city, one of the things that you'll definitely love about Zurich is just how quiet it is. It's such a, such a nice, relaxing, peaceful city. And it is very pedestrian friendly and very biker friendly as well. All right, we made it to the railroad tracks. From here, we're getting into a more, a little bit more of a beautiful neighborhood. And there are lots of typical little apartments. Most of the, most of the apartments are just three or four stories and they have nice little balconies. It's, Zurich really is an incredibly beautiful city. Let's cross over here. There is a park just down here that I wanna show you. Oh, okay, just stumbled into it. One thing you'll find that you'll love about Zurich is that there is fresh water, drinking water everywhere you go. I love that about any city that I visit. Having fresh water like this, it's fantastic. All right, let's continue. Yeah, it's just it's such a great city to walk in. And if I had a bicycle, I would love that too. All right, made it to the park. This is just a, a typical neighborhood park in Zurich. It's a really nice park. Well, all the parks are really nice. This one is not close to water, but it's still nice. There's a volleyball court, a uh, big expanse of grass and just lovely trees. No relaxing at the park this morning. Ying and I are in desperate need of some coffee. So we are walking on our way to try to find a coffee shop. There's one, oh, there's one that I kept passing when we were taking the tram uh, that looked really good. It was always busy and it's not too far away, right in this neighborhood. This is the tram station and this is a, uh, this is what a typical tram looks tram station looks like in Zurich. It's one of the easiest ways to get around if not if you're not walking or biking. One of the easiest ways is to take the tram and you can get from the major neighborhoods into the old city into the downtown of Zurich easily. And there's lots and lots of signs. I think we can take any train from here. We're just going one stop. There's a there's a good cafe just down the road. Okay, remember to press the button. That opens the doors sometimes. Oh, there's, okay, there's the cafe right there. Cafe Lang. All right, let's get out. Wait, that was just one stop. I knew it was right here, but we're actually in kind of a rush. We're, we're leaving Zurich this morning on the train too, so we, need to, we needed to save some time. And then the cafe, yeah, it's back this way, right? Okay. 
This is a little bit more of a busier area than where we're staying. It's a little bit more commercial. There are little shops, little restaurants, cafes, uh, a, little more, a little more life happening around here. And for the tracks, I think, it's, I think you can just cross the tracks. It's called Cafe Lang or Cafe Leng. Thank you. Huh? Let's just say here you in the front. This will be good. Double, double espresso or double macchiato maybe. Every time that I've passed by on the tram, this, this coffee shop has just been packed, completely packed. And uh, there are still some empty seats here, but that's because it's only 7 a.m. in the morning. But I'm sure in a, very soon it will be very packed. But this is a, a very typical Zurich Swiss style cafe. They have a nice, they even have a nice indoors well. They definitely have to have nice indoor sections here too because it is extremely cold in the winter. But in the summertime, most people just love to sit outside on the street. Um, people watch, drink coffee. Hey, Micah. And just hang out and enjoy the, the well, it's kind of cool today. It's fantastic weather, but enjoy the, the summer weather. Thank you. Ying ordered a cappuccino. I ordered a double espresso macchiato, which has been one of my go-to coffees in Europe. I love it so much. It's, yeah, that is, that is a coffee right there. A fantastic coffee. And also Ying and I ordered a little croissant to share. Oh yeah, that is what you want your croissant to feel like. It's crusty, it's light and airy. Which, which bite should I take first? The, the crispy side, which is over here, or the, the gooey side? I'll go crispy, crispy bite first. Wow. That's an incredible croissant. So buttery and flaky. <laughs> like I want some. This is absolutely fantastic, sitting here at a, just a neighborhood typical Swiss cafe, but a very good Swiss cafe. The coffee is amazing. The little pastries that you can order are amazing. And then you just sit here and people watch. And this is fantastic. We finished with the coffee. We had the two cups of coffee. We had the croissant. Our total bill came to 12 uh, francs. And all of a sudden it's starting to rain. So we got to, we're gonna take the tram back to our, our place. Bye. Okay, and this is our station, which is Eschar Wiesplatz. That's gonna do it for this little neighborhood Zurich uh, morning walk. It was uh, that coffee was the highlight of my morning walk this morning. But Zurich is really, it was rated, I know it's been rated as one of the, the highest standards of living in the entire world many, many years. It really is a beautiful city. It's, what I love about it is it's so pedestrian friendly. We took the tram only because we're in a, we're in a rush for time, so I actually have to end the video right now and we gotta run to the, the train station to, to catch our train back to Germany. And the old town is also beautiful. And you can check out my full video about uh, Swiss food and exploring old town on my main channel. I'll post the link in the description box. And other than that, I mean, I'm here during the summer, so the weather is fantastic. The weather is perfect. I know in the winter time, it's freezing cold. I'm kind of scared of the winter time. Uh, but anyway, overall, it's, it's really a beautiful city to visit or to live in if you have a chance. And that is a neighborhood tour of Zurich. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for lots more videos like this and tours and travel advice. And I'll see you on the next video.